This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial by illustrator Tracy Timmer, teaching you how to draw a puppy. Hello everyone, my name is Tracy Timmer and I'm an illustrator and I'm here today to show you how to draw a puppy in training or your dog at home. I'm working on an iPad with the Procreate app, but you can use just a regular pencil and paper, crayons, anything you have on hand. Um, if you are working on an iPad, I'm just using the pencil tool, which you can find here. So we're going to start off by drawing our puppy's head to begin. So we're going to start by doing some simple shapes to lay out the shape of the puppy first. And you can do this with kind of a light pencil stroke. So to start, we're going to draw kind of a tooth shape for his head. And then for his mouth, we just give him a little bit of almost like a half circle. You can barely see it there. And then we're going to start doing his ears next. And those are really just triangles with rounded edges that are a little bit tilted to the side. Doing one on each side. Next, we're going to do his neck. And you can see in my picture that I'm using, which yours might be different, but his neck starts a little bit above where his mouth is. So I'm just gonna draw two lines down from there. And I'm gonna draw another line down from his ear up here and connect them with kind of a curved line at the bottom and that's where his collar is gonna be. From there, I'm just gonna add a second line to kind of lay out where his collar is gonna go. And then we're going to move on to the rest of his body. So to start off with this simple shape, I'm actually going to do his chest first. So that's going to be almost like an olive shape coming down from the collar. And if you make a mistake, you can always erase it. That's why it's good to start with some lighter pencil lines in case you make a mistake. And from there, we're gonna draw the rest of his body. So from that same point at the top of his collar where his chest connects, I'm just gonna draw almost like an oval shape. And that also connects to his chest here. So fairly similar to shape to what we did for his chest originally, just a little bit longer. From there, we're gonna move on to his arms. And I'm actually gonna start with his front paw and puppies have kind of thick legs because they haven't quite grown into them yet so I'm keeping his legs kind of wide and then at the bottom I'm just gonna add a little half circle for his paws and also remember puppies have big floppy paws that they haven't quite grown into yet And for his other paw, I'm gonna start up a little bit higher and just do a straight line going down, another one on the other side. And if you notice in my picture, there's a little bit of perspective going on where his front paw is a little bit lower than his other paw. So this one goes down a little bit further. And we're also gonna do another half circle for that paw and then just connect that line. For his back foot, he kind of has his back foot in my picture at kind of a funny angle. So we're just going to kind of try to imitate that shape as best we can. It's kind of almost like a, a moon shape. And then two lines for the rest of his leg and then a half circle for his paw at the end, just like we did with the other two legs. And then we have one more leg that you almost can't see. It's in between his two front legs. And for that, we're just gonna make kind of a quarter circle there and another half circle for his paw that's showing a little bit there. And then last but not least, we have his little tail. So you notice their tails are, they're not a completely straight line. You can give it a little bit of a wave. All right, so that is the basic shape of our dog. 
And now what you're gonna do is do another layer, either with your regular pencil on top of it, and we can come back and erase the lines underneath it, or if you're working on an iPad like me, I'm actually gonna add a second layer on top and just draw right on top of that layer. And I'll be erasing the underneath layer a little bit later. So I'm actually gonna start with his eyes. I wanna get those in. So his eyes are almost like kind of sideways Hershey's Kisses. And I give him those sad puppy dog eyes that make puppies look so cute. And then you can see he has a little bit of a glow in the top of his eye where the light's hitting his eye. So I just add a little circle there on each eye. And I'm just gonna fill in that eye with my pencil. And then we're gonna move down towards the bottom of his face where his nose is. And his nose is really just kind of almost like an oval shape. And then you can add two little circles on either side for where his nostrils are. And you can see on my puppy, he has almost like a little black stripe underneath his nose. So I'm just gonna add two lines for that. And then just a little bit of a detail on his face. You can kind of see where his nose sticks out by adding two soft lines coming from either eye and going towards the side of his mouth. And that just gives him a little bit of a dimension. And he also has these little almost eyebrows at the top. Just another thing that makes puppies' faces look so cute. So next up, I'm gonna work on his ears. You can see they're, they have a little bit more shape to them than what we originally did. And I also, when I add these details, I like to add a little bit of kind of fur sticking up so you can see the texture of his fur. So I'm adding a little line there where his ear kind of dents inwards. And I'm just adding a little more shape. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's a similar little indentation there in his ear. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of fur around his collar, just to make him a little more realistic looking. All right, and for now, I'm gonna ignore his, um, his puppy jacket. Um, and we're just gonna move straight to the rest of his body where we can add details. So I'm gonna make his chest stick out a little bit more like it is in the picture. And then with his legs, so that they have a little more shape to them, they kind of go inwards and puppies actually have kind of a knee joint at the bottom. So I'm adding that in and his legs get a little bit more slender towards the bottom. And then I'm adding his little toes. And I'm actually gonna come up here to his chest and add some fur right there, just to give him a little more texture. And with this leg over here, you can actually kind of see where his shoulder starts. So I'm gonna add a little line there. And he has almost like an elbow up here at the top. And then again, I'm gonna kind of refine his legs a little bit, give him those little knobby knees. And then add his toes. I'm actually gonna do the same on this toe back here. You don't need to do much to that leg. You can just add some toes to his paw. All right, and then for this back foot, same thing. Just gonna add some toes. I'm gonna connect that line there a little bit better. And I'm just gonna leave that as is. It's pretty good like that. All right, and then from there, I'm just gonna add a couple little more details, like some little fur on the edge. Maybe a couple lines where his tail is to indicate fur. But for the most part, he's looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna come back in and go to my layer underneath my original layer when we first drew out the shape. And I'm gonna erase some of those lines that we don't need. So we don't really need this connecting line here. We just wanna see where his leg is. So we wanna get rid of those lines there. This line here we don't need. You can see where we kind of reshaped the legs so we can kind of erase around that a little bit. 
And if you accidentally erase something you didn't mean to erase, that's okay. You can always come back in with your pencil and add that line back in. I'm gonna erase the top of his toes there because you can't really see those. Same thing on this leg, just erasing some of those extra lines that we don't need, cleaning it up a little bit. And you can see I just erased a line I didn't want to erase, so I'm just adding that back in. this line here don't need that one you can kind of see where his shoulder is here and then of course we don't need this line right here or this line and back into his ears where we kind of shaped those a little bit better racing a few of those lines around his neck and then I'm just coming back in just a couple lines here just coming back in and kind of redefining a few of those lines that I may have accidentally erased a little bit too much of and this is a sketch so it's okay if it looks a little sketchy it doesn't need to be perfect and the sketchier it is it actually kind of adds a little bit of interesting texture and probably makes your dog look a little bit more realistic. I'm gonna color in his nose and I'm actually this isn't really in my picture but I like to add a little shine on their nose. And that just gives it a little more dimension. All right now Add a little bit here just finish it up there and if this is your dog at home you're done you don't need to add anything more you can color it in from here if this is a puppy that you're raising for guide dogs for the blind this is where you can add their puppy coat so I'm gonna do that now so I'm just gonna add a little rectangle over his chest here it's okay if it overlaps some of your original lines I made a little bit of a wavy line because you can kind of see where his fur overlaps his coat there. And then of course we have his buckle right there. It's just a little, another little rectangle. And then it connects over his back, another kind of rectangle shape. And we have the border of it. Just gonna erase that line there. So we don't need it anymore. And from there, if you want to add the words, up to you. You don't have to add the words, only if you'd like. And from there, you're pretty much done. That's your puppy. So if you want, you can go in and color your puppy um, with any kind of, if you're on an iPad, you can use that, of course. But if you're at home, you can use crayons, you can use colored pencils can use anything you'd like and just go in and color your puppy and I'm actually gonna add a new layer there you can use markers you can use whatever you like For the sake of time, I'm just gonna leave it at that for now and I'll finish the rest of my dog later. But I hope you enjoyed this lesson on drawing your dog and I can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. For more information about Guide Dogs for the Blind, please visit our website at guidedogs.com or call us at 800-295-4050.